Hey YouTube, Tech for Time here, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can connect Xbox 360 wireless controllers to your PC using this simple piece of hardware. This right here is a wireless receiver for Xbox controllers. Microsoft sell their own version of these, but it comes at an expensive price. Whereas I just bought this one off eBay for less than 10 euro and it works perfectly. What this is, is a wireless receiver which plugs into your computer by a USB cable. And it works as a receiver for these controllers so it can pick up the signal from these controllers through your laptop. When I bought this device it came with a CD driver so you can install the drivers for this. But it is not necessary because Windows already has the drivers built in. So it is very easy to set this up once you get it, if you know what to do. I'm going to show you now how to set it up very easily, and it only takes a small bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this USB into the side of my laptop. And once I plug it in, the light begins flashing on the receiver. I'm going to leave the receiver in front of my laptop here so you can see it for the duration of this video. Once you've plugged the receiver in, and you can see the green light on, you want to go to where the USB devices are managed. So on a Windows 10 PC, you can easily just search devices, which I'm going to do, or you can go on into control panel and then go to your devices. Once you open devices, you want to locate the piece of hardware you've plugged in to the computer. If it doesn't come up like it hasn't for mine, try unplugging and replugging it back in. Alright, so now an unspecified device has popped up, and I know that's this receiver because it only popped up when I plugged it in. So if you right click on this device, go to properties, click on hardware, click on properties again, you'll then open the unknown device properties then click on change settings then update driver and then choose browse my computer for driver software and at the bottom here it will say let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer this is the option you want to pick because windows already has it for you you then want to scroll down the bottom where you'll see Xbox 360 peripherals. Double click on that. You then want to scroll down again until you see Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows, which is one of these, a wireless receiver. And there might be two versions here like there is on mine, but there could be a couple of different versions. So you'll want to pick the most the newest version. But if one version doesn't work for you, maybe try the other, because some might work for your computer, some versions mightn't. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the newest one here. You can see at the end the date, 2015 versus this one which is 2009. Make sure you're picking the right one, that is the receiver and not the play and charge kit or any other Xbox controller driver software. So once you've selected the right one, click next. It will then come up with a warning, but you know this is the right driver, so click yes. The driver will be installed very quickly, and then you can close down everything you had opened. Hit close, hit OK, and I'll X this down as well. I'm going to just plug out the receiver now, and then plug it back in, and connect the controller. So I've plugged the receiver back in, and now I'm going to turn on the controller. Sometimes they can take some time to connect and sometimes they connect straight away to so just play around with it. So you can see there it just connected on its own after a few seconds. Sometimes they will connect instantly, but as I said, sometimes it will take some time. So play around with the sync buttons, like using your controller and your Xbox. Press the button on the top of the controller, the button on this, and they'll start flashing in order to try to connect more controllers. So I'm going to give you a few tips now if you are struggling to connect your controller because it has happened to me a few times. 
So if nothing is happening, mess around with this, pressing this button, pressing the button at the same time, turn the controller back off, try again. If it's still not working, maybe try plug the device into different USB ports. And if it, there's still nothing, just try the whole process again of just going to your devices and selecting the unknown device and choosing the Microsoft driver for the receiver. I've had to do that a few times when I can't connect, but I can always manage to get it in the end. I'll just show you now really quickly that the controller works because you can't see the mouse on the screen, but it works in games. So I'll just quickly start up a game to show you. So the game I have here now is Rocket League. Just putting it on really quickly to show you that the controller works. So as you can see when I'm moving the arrows, it's scrolling up and down. And you're going to go into a quick exhibition match just to show you. Driving around. So you can see that driving around with the controller works and it all works perfectly. You don't have to configure any settings for the controller or map the controller out. It all works straight away perfectly because Microsoft have the drivers for the controllers. If you like this video, please remember to leave a thumbs up. Comment if you have any other questions or you are struggling with connecting your controllers to this device. And remember to subscribe if you're not already.